good YouTube. Right out here. We back with another video, man. So look, we'll get straight into it, bro. You see tier list? You see the title? You see the movies? We're gonna get straight into it now. What I'm bank what I'm ranking these off of. Replay value. Can I go back and watch the movie again? It was the movie that I enjoyed because I don't read the comic. I didn't read the comic, so I don't understand like if it's comically accurate or not. But can I go back and watch the movies? Is the acting good? Is the plot good? And and you know the other factors that make a good movie a good movie. The enjoyment factor. All right. So let's get into it. First Spider Man is going A. Great origin story. Peter Parker, great. Toby, great. Acting, great. Villain, I think that hey, the villain, great. Because some of these villains is mm, villain, great. Um, again, I don't know how comically accurate Mary Jane and Harry is, but those two was especially Harry. I was messing with Harry the first like 35 minutes of the movie, then he started getting real grimy, real grimy. So I don't know, I don't know if that's comically accurate or not, but other than that, man, Uncle Ben, Aunt May, excellent. Definitely excellent. Um, like I said, origin story great, all that great. So definitely rate that A. Especially at the end, he finally gets the love of his his life, and he makes that sacrifice. Man, With great power comes great responsibility. He's, he's he's he doesn't want to be responsible for you know something bad happening to Mary Jane, and he ends up um, you know telling her friend zone her, dubbing her. That's a boy well, a W for that, man. Oh my God. I just, my oh boy, that's an A. Main Spider-Man 2 is a C. Now, it's great replay value because, like, I really enjoy watching the really good parts of this movie. <sighs> Everything else, man. Everything else. Um, the two villains, I think Electro... Was a really good for what he tried to do. Like it just, I felt like he was swept. He was swept to the side towards the end. Swept to the side towards the end. Um, I feel like they could have did him more justice. Um, the Goblin with Harry, I feel like his dynamic could have been better. Um, it it just didn't compel me. Harry and Peter's past relationship and friendship currently kind of sort of didn't compel me. Um, Gwen and Peter was amazing. No pun intended. Amazing in this video. Or not in this video, in this movie. Amazing. Amazing. Their chemistry was great. Great throughout. Um, Aunt May could have been used more. I feel like it was at points he needed some guidance. Could have been used a little bit more. But other than that, it was cool. I, I just didn't... The Harry thing really messed me up. And then Harry thing is kind of putting shine away from like Electro. And then you try to combine the two. Not even combine the two. You have him, you have him fight Electro at first. Electro uh, kind of dies too easy. I mean, what did they... I forgot what they hit him with. Like overloaded him or overcharged him with something. I forgot how it was. Which uh is cool, but like, is this the, um, the 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 last 30, 40 minutes of the movie outside of Gwen and Peter like making up, loving each other again, not loving each other again, but you know what I mean? It just, I don't know. Gwen like helped him beat Electro. Like you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. And they kind of like just swept it, you know. Oh shoot, we just beat Electro. You know, mind you, Peter was struggling without Gwen, so we like, oh shoot, like Electro on his ass. And then Gwen comes and helps, and then beats him. And we like, damn, what's next? And then fucking Peter comes out of nowhere, and we just sweep like Electro didn't even happen. We just move on to the next, and then I do like. Harry, Harry putting two or two together with Gwen and it, it was, it was, that was, it was a little decent. It was really good moments though. It was really good moments in there, but the bad just, uh, just, just, it just, it just wasn't adding up for me, man. It wasn't adding up for me. The acting was good though. Everybody did their thing. Um, Aunt May, like I said, underutilized. Uh, definitely needed more guidance in that movie. And then, yeah. Character villains was just the villains was just the villains. I just I really have nothing good to say about them. 
Spider-Man 3 is also here, kind of for the same reason. Too much going on. It's too many spectrums coming in at once. Way too many at once. Um, the motives of the other villains. The first of all, the replay value. Um, I went through and watched all of these Spider-Man uh, movies again. I'll tell you this much. These, I and I really enjoyed Amazing Spider-Man two. Like I said, for the good moments. But this movie, I had a very hard time rewatching. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all. Like, I, I was kind of dreading it. Because it kind of took away from the first movie, the first two movies. Like, okay, he he. It was tough for him balancing Love and Mary Jane and Spider Man, and that then when he got both, it just didn't. I don't know. It just didn't. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Um, the two villains, Eddie Brock and Sandman. Sandman not really being a bad guy, just having to do a bad thing, whatever the case may be. Um. You got to trying to introduce Gwen Stacy. Uh, you're trying to balance. You're trying to still make Mary Jane a relevant character. You, you got Harry Osborn. You really is really three and a half villains, four villains in it. it. It's just too much. Like you got Peter, Peter with the Venom um, outfit, trying to fight himself with an identity crisis. You got Harry Osborn, who I, I think from the whole trilogy standpoint was great. Like his story wrapped up well. Um, he just was missed, bro. He just wanted to be loved by his father. His father was taken away from him. He had really nothing left besides Peter and Mary Jane. And then he thinks Peter, he finds out Peter's Spider-Man. He doesn't like Spider-Man. It, it was excellent. Like, I love that part of it. But you got, you got Harry. You got Peter, basically Peter versus himself with the Venom suit doing things that's not really him. Um, you know, treat Mary Jane. It, it just, and you got Venom. And freaking and Sandman, like it's it was too much going on for him to, like it was it, it, I don't know man it was it was too too many different spectrums coming in, but um yeah too many spectrums coming in. I feel like the second one just I don't know, we we'll get to the second one later. Just the second one just it was just here and the third one just like I don't know. Main Spider Man one I'm actually gonna put in the B tier. Now, I've watched this Amazing Spider-Man 2 more than Amazing Spider-Man 1, but the Amazing Spider-Man 1's plot and stuff like that nature makes more sense. So, I gotta put it, I gotta put a B. Um, Kurt, the, the villain. Um, you see, I'm going straight to the villain because the villains kind of want make or break movies a lot with superheroes. Um, Dr. Kurt Kynes was I. I mean, he wasn't nothing... I think he was better than the the second movies. Well, maybe he wasn't even better, but he just I don't know, man. I, I'll be honest. I don't know. Um I, I really couldn't give you a very strong argument as to why the first one's better than the second one besides the plot made more sense. Um I just don't get the Dr. Connors motives. Okay, you have um, a time stamp as to when you can get this cure or this this thing good for Harry Osborne or Norman Osborne sickness. That makes sense. Um, you didn't make it in a time stamp or whatever, and you got fired. That makes sense. You get paranoid and you try the subject out. You you make yourself the subject of your own experiment. That makes sense. Making the whole city lizards. Where did that come from? You know what I mean? It was making sense into that point. Like, so then it kind of threw off the whole... The other parts of the movie was better than the lizard part. I don't, the lizard just kind of... Eh, I don't know. If the lizard was built better, maybe, but your know, motives was way off. I don't know how you went from trying to grow an arm to making the whole city lizards. Gwen and Peter, though, excellent. Gwen, dad, excellent. Uncle Ben kind of rubbed me off the wrong way. I ain't, I ain't even gonna cap. I just something about him. But Aunt May did her thing. Origin story was great. Flash was a care was was actually one of my favorite characters in the movie because Flash is obviously he's the jock that bullies Peter, and then he bullies him or whatever. Gwen steps up the first time, kind of builds that. Second time I think they've seen each other, the uh, basketball scene. And then you see Flash, like, comfort him 
after Uncle Ben died. Like, that's... Even after all that he went through, he realized that it's, just, it's, it's some things that just just bigger than what it is. Like, I think that was, that was a good moment. Um, it, it was some really good moments in there. Uh, putting the taking the mask off for the kid and having the kid put the mask on so he could feel stronger, feel like himself. That also was great. The crane scene was great. There's some good scenes in here. There's some good scenes in here. No, I get a B. I get a B. Homecoming is a B. But it's like, I'll be honest. This is probably one of the least movies I've watched on this list. I don't even know. Maybe I got to watch it again to determine its replay value. But I, I don't know. It, it was just a movie for me. The villain didn't compel me much. Um, it kind of compelled me more when I realized that he was the father of the love interest. But the villain, I will say this, the acting was great. Ned was great. Like I said, I did not watch the comments, so I don't, I didn't know who Ned was. Ned was great. I, I'm not going to lie. Ned and Peter, that was good. Um, MJ's little cameos was good. Aunt May was good. All the characters was good. I, all the characters was good. And then people, people give it slack because old Tony Stark came like, 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 Freaking nobody was, was there to save Andrews and Toby's and then Tony comes and save. We get that. But at least Tony is letting, well, not letting, but at least Tom's Spider-Man made mistakes. Just like the other two. Like, yes, Iron Man's going to come swoop through, help with the boat or whatever, and give him suits or whatever. But he made mistakes. He still, they still show that side and him trying to balance both worlds. Like, he still made mistakes. So, that movie, it just, it was just like... The other movies got some highs and lows. There wasn't really a lot of highs for this. There wasn't really a lot of lows. It just was a movie to me. So, I put it B. I, it was constructed better than the C one, but it didn't really compel for me. I love this movie, though. I love this movie. If the last, if the if No Way Home never came out or added the other, did whatever they did, this would be my favorite, like, probably one of my favorite spot. Well, I lied, but we're going to get to that in a second. Live action Spider Man movies. Acting was beautiful. You you bring in all these new characters in Peter Parker life and they all flow well. They all flow well. Peter is amazing. Tom's this is what made me think like give me that perception that Tom is the best Spider Man. Because he still gives you that kid feel. He's still making mistakes as Spider Man. He's still trying to balance both worlds. And I just loved that the acting was beautiful. Mysterio, we all knew Mysterio was going to be a bad guy. But the twist was great. It made sense. Um, because, again, that's Peter without guidance. You remember? He, he This is the first movie without Tony Stark. So this is, like, this is the closest we're going to get. Like, at this time, this is the closest Spider-Spider-Man that we get. And, you know, he's like a kid. He makes mistakes. He trusted the wrong people. He gave up the glasses. And that happened. He wasn't good managing both worlds. And, um, yeah, I, I love this movie, man. I really did. I really love this movie. I really did. Um, the negatives of it? Let me see. I, I, like I said, like, it's, like, it, it's so easy to go through the negative, like, the positives in a movie you love. Like, the negatives are so hard for me to stick out because, like, I love the movie that much. I'm trying to think of just the negatives that I didn't like in the movie. Um, see, but I'm the type of dude when I watch a movie, like, why is Peter jumping and doing all this stuff with no mask on? You know what I mean? Stuff like that is what I don't like, but that's, I don't know, that's just me. That's just like a personal thing with me. If I'm Spider-Man and I'm trying to hide my identity, I'm not going to go jumping, hitting bells and webs, swinging and all that with no mask on in the same outfit. I just, it just, stuff like that, like mess with me but other than that um no way home i'm gonna put i'm gonna say masterpiece it's kind of low end masterpiece though the nostalgia kind of carried but i think the mj and peter love was great um i think ned was good 
all the Spider-Man connected, clicked well. It was nice seeing them all together. Uh, the villains was... The villains were really... I think that's really... Uh, the, the, <clears throat> like, when I watch a superhero movie, I want to feel like the superheroes to go above and beyond to beat this threat. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I felt threatened enough. Like, uh, yeah, those were the Sinister Six, basically. But Doc Ock was gone. Doc Ock was, was regular. Like... <laughs> He was mad regular the rest of the movie. So, Green Goblin was the only one I was like, oh, shoot. Like, Green Goblin had me on my feet. Like, oh, shoot. And then, you know, with the first, with the second movie in Tony Parker, or Tony Parker. <laughs> with Peter Parker. <laughs> The second movie with Tony Stark dying, we see that like, month, this is like time after like it happened. So we didn't really see the really lows of, of, of Peter Parker. But when Aunt May died, it I hit because I seen the uh, like the sadness, like the the anger, the all of that just in the one. And then he, I don't even think he wanted to be Spider Man no more. Like he failed. He felt like he felt like he failed. And, you know, the other Spider-Man coming out, whatever, the guy, the group rallying around him, you know, uplifting him, getting him getting back to his, his thing. Excellent. You know what I mean? So, definitely give it that. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I mean... I ain't never watched a movie that I can recollect that ended with a cliffhanger. Not a cliffhanger, but... Well, yeah, a cliffhanger, but, like, a to-be-continued. One of those. I heard Fast and Furious got one that just came out, whatever. This movie has me so conflicted because I cannot wait for the third movie. I literally cannot wait. I want the third movie now. But I want to enjoy the second movie so much. Like, it's... I'm so conflicted. Like, usually, like... Usually with movies, you be like, oh, okay. Next movie come out, I'm definitely going to be here. Definitely going to be here. This movie has me so... Conf I want the movie, but I want to enjoy the second movie. Like, it's like, oh, bro. I love this movie, bro. I really do. Really love this movie. Um. Again, um, with the, the Gwen and P Peter B. Dilemma... You know, obviously they know about all the other Spider-Man. Miles don't. Miles with Cannon and stuff. My only thing was, man, and, and I shout out to my boy Stiggs, man. I Me mean, Stiggs was talking about that, bro. I'm like this, bro. If you was that scared for him to break Cannon, let the Cannon event happen and then try to break down what's going on, right? The Cannon event didn't happen and you try to break it down to him and then you expect him to sit there and be okay with the event that's supposed to transpire. You know what I mean? It was it was a it was a dilemma, it was a bad either way. Either you you wait until the canon event happened. We don't know if the father will end up dying or not, but you wait until the event happened, then you, you just come out of nowhere. Oh shoot, well that was supposed to happen. Oh we knew, but we knew what. You know what I mean? Or opposed to you trying to tell him that and then you think he's just gonna be okay with it. And then like, I'm understanding, like, I, like, I just love this because Miles is the main character and I understand all his emotions and all his thoughts. Like, I'm with him, I wanna, I'm rooting for him. So, as of right now, how I'm feeling, Peter B is, he kind of, he, he, he more on the cool side. Gwen, no, Gwen gotta make up for me in the third movie. Huh? She gotta make up, I get it. The dilemma was crazy, but she, she got, she got some, some, she, she gotta, you know what I mean, do her thing in the third movie because, uh, maybe because she was he's she love interest, but like I don't know, man. I don't know. Then you sold. Then th th this is another thing. She sold though. Like, can we talk about how? Like her her mission was to get Spot. Spot was in Miles' universe, whatever. So two and one, you go see Miles, and you also do the you also get Spot. Get Spot though. Get cause Spot finna tee up in the third movie. Get him first. Then go talk to Miles. You know what I mean? You sold you sold the mission. Then you brought Miles into this. Then you knew about what was gonna happen to Miles, and you like it was just too much going on. Like so, Gwen, you got some making up to do, but 
I love the movie. Like, best movie I've watched in a while. Whoa, ooh, damn. Because Guardians of the Galaxy came out. It, 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 oh, hold on. Let me chill out. But this movie was amazing, beautiful. And this movie was great, too. <laughs> it's not like this movie wasn't good, too. <laughs> this movie's great, too. Like, I wasn't as compelled because we just got Civil... I think we got Civil War and the first Spider-Man movie, whatever. So, I'm like, an animated... Animated Spider-Man movie, Miles Morales. I wasn't really that familiar with Sp- with Miles Morales. I think I was like, what, 15 at the time, 16? I'm like, uh, whatever. I guess I'll tune in. Movie was excellent. <laughs> Great movie. Like, and it really hooked me because at first I'm watching it, whatever. I'm not really interested with the characters. Soundtrack was bumping off the start. But then they kill off Peter. I, when I tell you, I'm, I'm just watching it. I start standing. I'm like, whoa! This is a whole new. They they brought it. They tapped into a whole new realm of Spider Man, and I loved it, man. Like they took risk in that film, and the risk paid off. Beautiful, like beautiful. Love that movie, man. Not better than the second one, but the first one is great. First one is great. Man, I believe this is Spider Man Two. Whoo! This is like a plus, like like. Ooh, I, I gotta put a masterpiece. I gotta put a masterpiece. This is like you—you you see the 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 conflict within Peter. He wants to he can't balance both worlds, and then he feels like he has to pick one, and he ends up quitting Spider-Man. It, uh. Bro, I love this movie too, bro. I love this movie. Doc Ock again. Um, he just lost his wife, but he dropped some some key, like. Advice to Peter. He like, yo, you know, with his relationship and stuff. Oh, uh, you know, Peter ended up rejecting Mary Jane in the first movie. You know, he still obviously loves her, but he feel like he can't be with her because just things of that nature. But just him trying to balance all that, he ended up having to quit Aunt May. Um, you know, with her advice, that, Aunt, that we love Aunt May over here, man. Like that Aunt May was excellent, excellence. Aunt May scenes was great. Um, Harry, you know, he's mad at Peter, you know, protecting Spider-Man or whatever. He just, you know, he's griefing. I, I feel like they, they did Harry just a good justice in all three of the movies. I feel like they, his story was, like, one of the most compelling. Um, he's conflicted, you know, he, he, he wants to trust Peter, but Peter's hiding Spider-Man, and he doesn't, I don't know. It, it, it was just, I love that. I love that part. Um, Dr. Octavius, like I said, great villain. Um... The motive to try to, like, to do the experiment again and tear down the city. Eh. Maybe, maybe y'all can let me know, like, you know? Eh. But other than that, it was great. Like, the scenes with the, the, the uh, subway, the train was great. Um, just this, it, it, it was it was some excellent scenes, and then you see at the end Octavius sacrificing himself. You know, he could have just let Peter try to do that, but he felt like, yo, Peter got a better thing to live for, man. I have nothing to live for no more. You know, I done terrorized the world. I lost my wife. Peter needs to. Peter got some things here that he need to take care of. I know I took care of my stuff. Love the movie, man. That 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 was one of my favorite movies, man. But um, here's my list. Let me know. Uh, for the most part, I talked about everything I liked and didn't like in the movies. Besides the masterpieces and a few of the A ones. It's, just, it's hard for me to pick things. Like, obviously, they had, there's flaws in the movie. But, like, the flaws, I look right past them because I love the movie so much. Um, like, even with Spider-Man 2. Like like I said, that the, the trying to bring the city down with you. I get it. You're mad and you lost your wife or whatever. It's just... I, I don't know, um, but uh, and, and, and then the experiment is what killed your wife. So it's just, I don't, let, maybe let me know. I don't know, man. But um, this is my tier list, man. Let me know how y'all agree. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to see more daily content, more consistent content, um, follow me on TikTok. I have two TikTok two. Damn, what did I say? Two TikTok accounts. I have one um, for gaming and just life advice, stuff like that. That's my young cut. 
And then I have my main one that I went viral on a couple times, whatever the case may be. So follow me on both TikToks for consistent uploads. And uh, I'm also posting shorts and stuff like that on here. So you guys let me know um, what more content y'all want to see. Uh, I'm, this is, I'm finishing up my last semester of college summer course. And then I'm going to be dropping videos for you guys. Uh, we got Madden coming soon. 2K coming soon. Other videos coming soon. So um, I'm definitely going to be able to drop way more content, man. I'm, I'm, I'm taking content creation. I want this to be my way out. I want this to be my job. So um, definitely going to be doing I don't know if I'm going to give you guys throwback series this year. I know I gave you all 2K14 and I guess UFC4. Career mode is kind of old. I know I gave y'all 2K14 and Madden or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna give y'all a throwback series this year. Um, but yeah, I'll let y'all know. You know, I, it's not gonna be the last video I make. So, um, well, last video I make talking about other videos. But thank you guys, and I'll catch y'all next video.